Hello, I'm Jacob with the Virtual Technology Assistance Program at Thomas Nelson Community College. Today, we will be covering some of the basics of Microsoft Word. I will be using Microsoft Word 2019, but the layout changes only slightly from version to version. If you can't find something that I'm doing, just keep looking. The option should be somewhere very close to where I described it. If you do not have Microsoft Office installed on your computer, the most recent version is free to install for currently enrolled students at Thomas Nelson Community College. I recently did a video walking through the download and installation process, which I'll link in the video description. All right, so let's go ahead and open up Word. Here we go. And let's open a blank document. And of course, we have our blank canvas to write whatever we want. There's the enter key to go to the next line. And then there's the tab key for spacing. And on the bottom left here, we have our page count, word count, and spell check. And over here on the right is the zoom, so we can zoom in and out of the page. Now this does not affect the font size, that is controlled somewhere else. So that's all pretty straightforward, but the real power of Word lies in the word processing capabilities, or the formatting. On the top here we have a bunch of different tabs, which all go to a different page on the ribbon, this section here. Let's start with the Home tab. Now the font and paragraph sections are probably what I use the most in Microsoft Word. Like, say if I were to select this text here, I can increase the font size, I can decrease it, I can change the font, I can make it bold-faced, underlined, only one or the other, italicized, you can even change the color of the text. There's a lot you can do in this section alone. And in the paragraph section, we have things like the centering, we have the paragraph spacing, and bullets for lists. And we also have a very useful button here, the paragraph markings button. This will toggle on and off any markings for invisible characters, like the space between words, the paragraph mark at the end of each paragraph, and the tab spacing also has its own mark. The paragraph marks feature is really useful if you're trying to ensure that you're formatting things correctly, especially if you're trying to adhere to design guidelines like the MLA, APA, Chicago, or any other format. And something good to know, if you try to print with paragraph marks on, it will not print the paragraph marks, so you don't have to worry about forgetting to turn those off. And the last thing I want to cover on the home ribbon is the find and replace functionality. So let's say I want to find the word is, and it finds every instance where is is typed. Now if we want to just sort by words, because notice how it's using this, which is not the word is, we can filter that down further by going to advanced find, and find whole words only. And if we find, there we go, it only finds those three. And by going to replace, we can find every instance of is and replace it with like uh, is not. And there is a replace all button but I would use that very sparingly because you don't want to accidentally replace something uh, with something that you don't mean to replace it with. Those errors can be very difficult to find, especially if you're writing a long document. So I normally like to hit find next and it'll highlight it, replace, uh, and then it automatically jumps to the next one. Yep, I wanna replace that one. Yep, I wanna replace that one. And there we go, and it says we're all done. There we go. So now it says this is not a test, this is not the next line, and this is not a test. If you have any questions about the material covered in this video, or if you have a topic that you would like us to cover in the future, feel free to leave them in the comments below, or send us an email at vtaptncc at gmail.com. 
Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.